All right, hey, gang. Happy Friday. It's Friday Live with Sean and Don. Live. Sean and Don here. All right, we got I mean, we're doing it live. We are we're doing it live. live right we now, are doing it live. So. We got an exciting lineup. Before I talk about the lineup, though, I want to show you this. This is our new sandwich in the cafe. New sandwich. It is a chicken club. I'm sorry, turkey club I was panini. Say turkey, I think. Turkey club panini. Um, so bacon, tomato. It's got avocado on it. Um, I actually had them put a little secret sauce on today. Mm -hmm. Really delicious. It's All right. so good. We just introduced we just that this week. It is on the menu. Sarah, yeah. one of our baristas, she created the sandwich and it's delicious. And we have good new job. menus down there that show Updated everything menus. Yeah, that we have going yes. on. So make sure you check that out. So today's lineup, um, we're going to discuss a donut a day. Is that okay? So for nutrition, what about a donut a day? A donut a is day. that okay? We're going to talk a little bit about, a, tell you a little client nutrition story. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to draw for our challenge the first week one winner here. So we got your names all written down. Oh, that's okay. Featured products we'll talk about. Uh, we're going to be talking about stimulants. And we'll talk about our, our, birthday, our athlete's birthdays. Yeah, Only right. one athlete this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this month. Or that this we week. know. That we have. Assuming that your birthday is right in Waterfly. Mm -hmm. So, a donut yeah, a day. So we talk about how there are no bad foods, right? There are, in fact, every time we hear people, um, oh, I shouldn't have done that, or I, they have a negative mindset. I had pizza, I had beer, or I had this donut. I feel so ashamed of myself. Um, that, that, that is the wrong mindset. It's figuring out how to apply the donut to your day. Um, it, it, that's, that's the art of it, right? That's what we try to teach you is how you can eat whatever the hell you want within reason. Um, but apply it to your day and your week as it fits your right. your narrative. It always those two always go together. It doesn't mean just go out and eat whatever you want as much as you want. Yeah. Obviously, they go hand in hand. Yeah. So why don't you tell the story now? Right. Yeah. So um, well, it's actually on Instagram. Um, there's a, a popular like science backed nutritionist that I follow. Actually, a lot of a lot of researchers in the science backed uh, part of you know, the space on Instagram that's nutrition related, right? Science. So this, um, this guy that I follow is, do, or had just finished doing an experiment. Um, he put himself into a caloric deficit. His goal was to lose body fat. And, uh, with the whole vaccination thing and the Krispy Kreme doing a donut a day, right? For a free donut a day for those that are vaccinated along those lines he decided well let's do the same experiment for 30 days an entire month eat a donut a day and see if i can still lose body fat i can still reach my goals all of those things so um i wanted to share that with you guys because it goes in line with so much of what we preach for nutrition like sean said there's no good foods there's no bad foods there's some that are better there's some that make you feel better there's some that fuel your body better however if there's those things that you really enjoy it's not bad keep them in your yeah. diet right in moderation so um so he did that case study like I, I i mentioned to you his starting weight was 212 his ending weight in 30 days was 198 so he lost actually 14 pounds yeah. um and so these were his takeaways and i'm just going to share with you a couple because it really goes with what we what we preach with our clients here so number one donuts do not cause obesity <laughs> Uh, a calorie surplus consisting of any type of food, including healthy, what you think is healthy or organic or whatever, um, anything where you're in a calorie surplus, right, over an extended period of time causes weight gain. Uh, food does not have moral value, right? There's not a good food and a bad food, morally. Uh, food shouldn't be demonized. When we demonize foods, we demonize ourselves and others who eat those foods. Uh, free food of any kind makes food more accessible to individuals, right? So free donut. A donut a day is not only possible, but ensures that you don't cut out the foods you love. It's sustainable, reasonable, and necessary. Um, and then this one I thought was really important for people. Food can be used to provide comfort and manage stress and emotions, although we recommend it not be the only way, right, that you find comfort. So those are kind of the, the big takeaways, but it's interesting. Um, and it goes along with the fact that you actually can still enjoy things that you like um, and still reach your goals. Yeah, so. and, that, and that's something that if you ever work with us or you're around us, um, we will nip it in the bud really quick if you start talking negatively about yourself or food. And, and then we'll educate you on that. We had that mm -hmm. conversation last night with our brother-in-law and sister-in-law 
about there are no good and bad foods and, and here's why. And he said it right there. You can eat as healthy as you want. I mean, it could be all traditional healthy foods and you can gain a lot of weight because if you're not in a caloric deficit, that's what, that's what it is, right? That's what it really takes. Mm -hmm. And so for us, it's finding the best balance of food for you and figuring out how to apply them in your day. You want to be like putting together a little puzzle yeah. for people. Yeah. And it's a unique puzzle for you. Like, let's say you want to have a glass of wine every day. We can, we can make that work. Right. But we just have to go, okay, let's hear Here's how this looks on your day. And mm -hmm. it's unique for each person there. So mm -hmm. you told me you have a client's nutrition story from this week. Yeah, yeah, um, several want, stories, I mean, but one that really uh, jumped out at me, I'm working with a client who uh, has, has really struggled to consistently track, um, but has struggled during the pandemic because her job went virtual, right? So she remote works, she's at home every day, she lives by herself um, every day. She's, she's working, right, and she's in that environment, but work is really stressful, so she, uh, just has a really hard time making healthy habits with getting up from the desk and, and getting a, a, a good solid meal and usually what happens is the whole day goes by and then all of a sudden it's like five in the evening well I haven't really eaten all day long I've just had coffee and you know maybe a muffin or something like that so um, so the whole individualized approach like we talk about all the time is really getting into the nitty-gritty of her life and where she's at and then use that to try to sort of uh, build some new habits, but they're little baby steps for most people. So uh, something that she's specifically struggling with right now is that her job is so busy that she's fallen back into the pattern of uh, running to get fast food in the evening for dinner because she's not prepared or just doesn't have those things or she's tired and stressed and all of that. So it's easy. And so I was thinking, laying in bed where I do all my best thinking, how can I help her right where she's at and so she's not discouraged and so her assignment is uh, when we meet for our check-in we're gonna look at two fast food restaurants that she eats at and we're gonna pull up the menus and we're gonna try to do our best to come up with some options where when she goes to those fast food restaurants uh, what can she order that helps her stay within her goals but also satiating and filling and all of that so I thought, well, that's kind of an interesting thing because instead of saying, well, you can't ever have fast food again, um, you know, what kind of a coach would I be if I didn't meet her where she's at? She already knows that she's going to go to that fast food tonight and it's going to be her life right now because it's so stressful with work. Um, she's not having the time to go to the grocery store and all of that. So it's like, okay, well, if this is what we're going to do, then we're going to make that work. Um, it's not ideal, right? In a, in, for life for all the time, but it can work. We can figure out some options. So, um, yeah. Well, and I think, and that's a really, fast food's not evil either, right? But it can get out of hand, and that's the thing, right? Can you have a plan going in for, and traditional foods that we had this talk last night with uh, our neighbors, like a Cobb salad at some of our local restaurants here, um, which I won't name the restaurants, they're delicious. Mm -hmm. Blue cheese, bacon, chicken on them. Delicious. Cheese, right? Sour cream. Really good. Yeah. They come with a breadstick and stuff. Yeah. Um, people look at that and say, oh, I'm just going to have a salad. I'm going to have a salad for lunch. I'm so healthy. That salad um, is probably about 1,400 calories, if not more. It is double, uh, almost double. A traditional Big Mac value meal last time I looked, medium fries or small fries, something like that. Double, so, yeah. So, <laughs> so, what was the smarter decision for you? The Cobb salad um, with all those toppings um, for your day or the fast food? Well, depending on what your day looked like yeah. going out, the Cobb salad might have been the right solution because you already had it booked in with what your your right things you wanted to have and you really like the salad and you're really excited about it and you plan for it yeah and awesome it. Yeah. right and however and calorie wise if you needed some you needed some extra flexibility the big mac and fries um would be a better caloric right. option right. maybe not a better nutri you know nutrient option but a better caloric option and that's what we really that's that's mm -hmm. the important part right. there yeah so and so we always keep hammering the same thing home it, or it goes along with this whole our whole philosophy is that you you need to know the value yeah. so that you can make good choices. So you have to know what you're putting in your mouth and what that is worth. You know, what 
even if it's just the basics. And, and, and it's not hard. So that you it, can it make just takes good decisions. time. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. it just takes time of building your your traditional week plate and figuring out the values and then you go apply it. It's just like you, you look at things and you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna I know what that donut's about. I'm gonna eat the donut. I'm okay with it, right? Yeah. That, that's the important stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Challenge. Good topic. Um, our our challenge that goes six weeks. So we started April 15th, it goes to the end of May. So we have a, a full month left. We have just fi almost finished up our second week with it. So remember, it's our all out oh. SK challenge. So this is week one. This is from last week, yeah. yeah. So we drew all the names of everyone who had put in that hashtag in their comments. And we're drawing a name. This is for one of the t-shirts. We have six personalized t-shirts with this hashtag. So there will only be six of these in the gym. Our first winner from last week is Dun, da, da, da. Connie Walker. You can't Connie read that. Walker. The Connie Walker. Yay. And Connie, good job. I only, and just so everyone realizes, everyone got one entry put in. So depending on how many times you did it last week, which is max two, only one entry goes in. Connie Walker, good job. We had a lot of people in there enter. Lots. And I guarantee this next coming week we're going to have more. a lot yeah. more. So good job coaches for getting your athletes going with that. It's been really fun to watch. Uh, shout out to my 6 a.m. class yesterday who a couple of the ladies challenged everybody else and every single athlete in that class went for the All Out SK yesterday. I think I had the same thing in my 5 a.m. class. I would say every, I... almost every athlete was laying on the floor after and that's what we want to see. Really pushing your intensity and learning what that feels like. Yeah. So. Cool. So really cool. Let's yeah. talk about stimulants or feature products right now. Some sort of stimulant. Yeah. Or... So here's the first question for you with along this line: Do I need to take a pre-workout? Do I need a pre-workout? Do you need it? Yeah. Uh, likely not. It not depends. Yeah, yeah. It, it depends on how who you are and how right. you know how you're feeling going into it. Well, workout. and what I should have said, do you need a supplement? Oh, no. That's a pre-workout. No. Not necessarily. Yeah, you don't necessarily. Because what is the one ingredient that get that is in a pre-workout? Do we all know? The one booster? Oh, the um, It's caffeine. Yeah. It's yeah. Caffeine in that. Yeah. yeah. But they call it something else. It's a derivative like Right. Remember but what's giving you the boost in any kind of pre-workout is that they're caffeinated. Yep. Yeah. And some are more than others. And of course there's other things in yeah, a lot yeah. of them. Caffeine and drugs, yeah. Yeah, so um, it's not necessary, but it helps a lot of people. It, it can be really beneficial. Yeah. yeah. So we have so let's talk about what we have. We have pre-wad, and pre-wad is purely a stimulant. So there's no other real supplementation in that. Um, it's the highest highest amount. supplement that we sell. So if we assume this has a value of one right mm -hmm. just to say a value one that's the max stimulant you can have they come in all kinds of flavors they go in water they mix really well they're really delicious yes they dissolve in a shake yeah. really nice and it's yeah. it's really really good and yeah. vodka or uh, something else what good for about? mixers yeah. yeah so well if you think about this being one cup of coffee yeah so equivalent of one cup of coffee disrupt is also a stimulant but it also has branch chain amino acids and bcaa's in it which you get in protein sources and whey um so this is half. So if this is a one, this is about half the stimulant value of this. This also has some additional benefits with the BCAA. So if you find yourself struggling to get the right amount of protein um, daily, this would be something that we'd likely uh, recommend yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then aminos. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't want caffeine. No caffeine. But you just want to flavor your water and you want to give yourself a little energy and yep. a boost of BCAAs. And so this no stimulant has the BCAAs in here, a little bit more BCAAs in here, but it has a nice uh, flavor to it. So mm -hmm. maybe you don't want like a protein whey or something like that. All of these are available in the cafe. All yes. really good flavors. They come in different flavors. All mixed well. If you're not sure about Driven, check them out. Go online, check them out. Yeah. They're a clean uh, a really nice clean brand yeah. uh, quality it uh, you might you might spend a couple dollars more than what you would basically buy at like Walmart or Costco but when you check the ingredients list and you see that you know it's really just exactly the few things that are in there that are so there's not no fillers and then there's and not all the extra additives yeah. and stuff that you don't want to necessarily put in your body so and, and I'll uh, just tell you options in that line um, Jason rule owns driven nice guy 
mm-hmm. local startup, uh, well not local, but a startup guy, mm-hmm. uh, grew it from I think his garage to where he's at mm-hmm. now, and it's it's a great product. Um, and so support Jason, and then we sell it. We're a small business. Support us, support right? Walmart and yeah. Costco are going to be okay. Um, your small business might not be. Right. Or Amazon. Yeah, or Amazon. They'll be okay <laughs> too. Um, the birthdays this week. Yeah, and One. along with the driven. Um, uh, Stay tuned because there are new products coming. We have a big, huge shipment. I don't yeah. know if you saw our Instagram post today, but we have a new line that, uh, or new to us, I should say, that we're going to be carrying a few different products in their line, which is the hemp-based uh, CBD Medics. Mm-hmm. So it's a medical grade CBD, but still hemp-based, no THC. But now they make a medical grade like um, balms, like for different areas. So there's a foot and ankle one. There's a hip and back. Yeah. All different kinds of things specific for athletes. Um, also oils, some gummies, some chewies, um, lots of new products in that line. So I'm excited to roll those out there as well. So stay tuned for some new stuff coming. And so this, we only had one athlete with a, with a, a birthday, birthday this week. Jason, Jason Sanic, happy, happy birthday. birthday to you. I'm not sure which day it was. I think it's actually coming up tomorrow oh, okay. or the next day, but it's okay. this week. So see Jason, give him a high five and a happy birthday. Now, here's a fun thing. Jason won't ever see this because he never watched the video. Mm-hmm. So you guys will just have to tell him, hey, we talk, they talked about you. Mm-hmm. You don't have to watch the video for it. It'll drive him nuts. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, guys, we'll tune in next week. Come in. Remember, we're still accepting memberships. Come in. Check us out. We'd love to talk to you. All right.